Welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we are going to be talking about some uh, masks that I actually got from uh, Spirit, of, uh, Spirit of the Halloween, Spirit Halloween, just literally two days ago. And we're going to talk about these masks along with a different type of mask, which is a Venetian type mask. Uh, when it comes to plague doctors, I love the masks for plague doctors. I've got like four or five of them now. So yeah, I collected quite a few of those. Uh, and I came across this one here and I was like, oh, I gotta get it because of the design and stuff. I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, but getting into the actual Halloween franchise, a lot of people are not aware of the fact that the movies in themselves were not actually supposed to be concentrating on Michael Myers. The first movie came out was so popular, they pushed out a second one. But when they pushed out the third one, Season of the Witch, it technically had nothing to do with Michael Myers. It was based on three antagonists, which was based on the masks that actually take control of people and they, they make them do stupid stuff. And eventually what happens is their heads, I think they explode or something uh, because of the chip on the back. I've got the Trick or Treat Studios version of all three of those masks. And I got a few NECA figures, uh, Toonie Terrors. I haven't gotten those, but I want to get those. But I do like the season of The Witch. I love the way the movie was crafted. Even though it had nothing to do with Michael Myers. We're getting back on track. The actual franchise in itself was not supposed to be based on Michael Myers. A lot of people don't know this. But because of the popularity of that particular character, uh, they decided to go ahead and keep pushing out those movies because people like them. Okay, now don't get me wrong. Michael Myers is cool. He's a uh, serious serial killer and he's got very unique ways of killing people. But I don't think he's on the level of Jason yet because Jason obviously is supernatural. He's died so many times and came back where Michael Myers has never died until just recently, uh, as far as we know. He got grinded up in uh, Halloween Ends. And we actually seen him get grinded up. But you don't actually see him because he's got his mask on. So it's most likely they'll continue and reboot the franchise through Miramax. And do something crazy with that or just totally reboot the franchise. But technically in that movie he did die. But there's no technical proof of it. Uh, it could have been somebody else that was in that, uh, that body and they grinded it up. And, and it's most likely Lori probably snapped and said, hey, I'm going to take you and put you in hiding. And we're going to protect you, okay, Michael? Um, you know, stupid stuff like that. But anyway, it is what it is when it comes to that stuff. Uh... But anyway, uh, Friday the 13th movies are very unique in their own way. A bit cheesy, but Jason, in my opinion, is much more violent in the way he kills people. I mean, he literally takes sleeping bags and slams them against a tree and stuff. I mean, he's got some cool ways of killing people. Don't get me wrong, Michael's got some cool ways too. Especially with the uh, fluorescent light bulb stabbing you in the neck with that shit. Uh, that shit is badass. <laughs> okay, but anyway... Uh, the Friday the 13th uh, franchise, I like it a little bit more than Michael Myers and the Halloween franchise. But the Halloween franchise seems to be a little bit more popular, according to some fans on Facebook. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this camera back and we're going to look at the vacuum form mask that I did get from Spirit Halloween. Okay. Um, I do like the season of The Witch. A lot of people don't like it simply because it didn't have Michael Myers in it, with the exception of one cameo. When you see uh, the TV on, you see Michael Myers on the TV screen, but that's pretty much it. The movie wasn't really based on him. Uh, a lot of people don't know that the actual Halloween franchise was actually supposed to be a bunch of collaborated horror-esque type uh, Halloween movies, but because of the popularity of Michael, they decided to go that route, okay? But anyway, let's get into these masks, okay? I didn't turn the turntable on because, obviously... I got no way of standing them up. But anyway, let's look at this guy here. And then we'll look at the other ones, okay? Alright. Let me pull that back a little bit. Okay. Now, I do have the Trick or Treat Studios versions of the masks themselves. Uh, they cost me a pretty penny, but I, I think they're worth it. And I've got some NECA figures based on um, 
the Trick or Treat uh, Studios characters. All right, and that's what the mask looks like in the back here. These are actually surprisingly comfortable to wear. Okay, in the way that they were made. Uh huh. Now I picked these up for like twenty bucks a piece because they were actually uh, getting ready to shut down their stores. November 2nd, I think, in our area is the last day for uh, Spirit Halloween. And then you got to order them online. Okay? I got a bunch of other stuff coming in through Big Bad Toy Store when it comes to the season of the witch. I got some uh, Halloween candy buckets coming in. I think that's going to be very cool. Okay? But anyway, I got these. So, this is the actual pumpkin. Okay? Alright. But I do like the season of the witch. I like collecting that stuff. There is the Toonie Terrors version of the uh, the figures. I don't have those uh, because they're up there in price because they're grouped in three. And there's also the Living Dead dolls. They're also grouped in three. I'm not totally undecided that I'm not going to order them because I might just order them because I do have a collection of Living Dead dolls as well. All right, but that's the pumpkin. All right. So let's get into the next one, which is the witch. I think this one's really cool looking. Alright, and that's what she looks like there. I'll let you see it from there. The eyes are red. This one here because I'll show you in the back here in a second. Now the mask itself has this felt like material. It's actually comfortable to wear. I just don't have the actual costume for it. But the masks do have the shamrock, which kind of controls your mind and makes you do stupid things. Okay. All right, see, now you got this little padding right here. All right, that makes it comfortable to wear. Okay. And these are surprisingly comfortable to wear. Okay. All right. And that's what that looks like right there, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be right back. And we'll continue with the other two masks. Along with, uh, I do have a Halloween Ends Michael Myers prop knife. We're going to talk about that one too. But it is a lot different than the actual one he uses in the movie. And I'm going to explain that here in a second. So I will be right back. Okay, we are back. I'm going to show you the last mask when it comes to the season of the witch. They do come with three antagonists. The skeleton, or the skull in this case, the witch, and the pumpkin. Now the skeleton seems to be the most popular, but then again, it could be the witch. Because the pricing on Amazon is a little bit different. The witch is usually more expensive than the rest of these guys. But this guy is pretty popular too. Anyway, let's give this a close-up look. He's got the ripples here. The mask in itself is really, really cool looking. Like I said, the Spirit of Halloween has these for like 20 bucks a piece. Which I think is rather cool. Like I said, these are very comfortable to wear. This one here has a different sponge system. Probably because of the way the mask is built. But that's what she looks like inside. And it's fairly thick too, so... Surprisingly, it's heavy. It's durable. All these masks are pretty much durable that way. They're not those real thin plasticky type. These are really hard to, to stretch. So that, they'll fit well on your face. All right. And that's pretty much it on this, on the Season of the Witch. So now I'm going to show you this next one here. Which is in fact a Venetian type Plague Doctor mask. And it's got a very cool design. Okay. Now, I've seen this in here a couple years straight based on this mask. It's got a very cool looking design as you can see. These are the kind you take to a party. You wear them. Those, um, is that Minority Report? No, it's a different movie with Tom Cruise. Uh, it's very sexual in nature. But anyway, they, they wear masks and it's like a Caligula type thing going on. Uh, but anyway, these now you see right here, there is some defect here. I'll have to glue that part back in. And just hang this up on the wall. Because I don't plan on wearing these. 
I collect them. But the actual design is really cool. Okay. Always to the tip of the nose. Okay. Just looking at it is very cool looking. Now this is like a half mask, and it's got this little piece right here where it had the tag on it. I'm gonna have to cut that off. All right, but that's what she looks like in the back. These are surprisingly comfortable to wear, believe it or not. And again, this is very durable in plastic. All right. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to the actual prop knife. Now I don't know if I said it in this video that I have, no I didn't, I don't think I did, but I do have other prop knives from Trick or Treat Studios that uh, are based on the movies themselves, I got the 78 version I also got the, uh, the curved version of the 78 from the poster as well as Halloween Kills and I'm not sure about the other one I know there's another one, I think it's Halloween 4 but I do got those prop knives, I got a total of 4 or 5 of them sitting on my shelf with the masks this one here I got from Spirit Halloween. I do have another one coming in. And it is based off of the 2007 version of Michael Myers. That one should be coming in just as soon as they let me know. And we'll get that going. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what this looks like. While it's still wrapped up in this package here. Alright. And that's what that looks like there. And as you can see it says Halloween Ends. Okay. It is Trick or Treat Studios. Which I'll show you here, right down here. Alright. This is the Halloween Ends version. It might be the Bloody Variant Knife. Which I'm going to take out of its package right now. And we're going to look at it. There we go. Here it is, guys. It's rather small. No, just kidding. <laughs> That's the other knife that I used to cut it out. There you go. And it's got some kind of weird shading on it. Like it's an old knife or something. And obviously it's got blood speckles and stuff on it. But the way they designed it is different. Okay? It is flexible, as you can see. Now, the one in Halloween... Kills is an actual J.A. Uh, Henkel's uh, version of the knife. It is the 8 inch version that he uses, not the 10 inch. If you use the 10 inch, that would have been badass. Okay, and this is from Spirit Halloween. Alright. It's got your little nicks and stuff in it. Let you should see that up close here. Like I said, it's a rusted knife, so he must be using it uh, since the last movie. Alright. And it just got rusted over time. It's got a very unique design to it. I don't know, like I said, it could be old and rusted. And that's what he kind of used. Alright. And that's what that looks like up close. The handles. Okay. Turn it around. Now I do have another Spirit Halloween. I think it's a 78 version of the knife. Uh, it's got blood on it and stuff. But it's not true to the original. But it's okay for what it was. You know? But I do have a total of 6 of these knives. And I got another one coming in. So that's going to be about seven of them so far. Now there's only certain masks and stuff that I collect when it comes to um, when it comes to uh, these guys here. Uh, Michael Myers, I do. I just recently got them, and if you want to check out the video, uh, I do have um, the '92 Murder Mask from the 2007 movie, as well as the 15 Year Later Mask. I don't think there's an actual name for that mask. But I call it the 15 year later mask because he pulls it out of the floorboards. I got that mask as well, okay? 
So I got those two masks along with the 78 version and I got a 2018 version. These are all Trick or Treat Studios. And I have another one on Amazon. I do want to get the Dick Warlock uh, Halloween 2 version of the mask. But I want to get a decent one, okay? Even if it's Trick or Treat Studios or something. But it needs to look just, just like Dick Warlock. Stuff like that. Because that is, because his head was a lot bigger than uh, the first um, actor. So it kind of stretched his face out a bit. So it looked different. So that's, that's one of the main reasons I want to get it, because it looks cool. But anyway, I'm going to end this video here. I uh, hope you guys like my Halloween collection, along with my Venetian uh, Plague Doctor mask. I do have, I think, maybe four other Plague Doctor masks, I, because I like them. I think they're ra rather cool. And the history and the origin, or the origin of the Plague Doctor, is rather cool. and my, It's very interesting, to say the least. They literally had to put pulpery in the mask so they don't they couldn't smell the dead flesh and stuff during the plague. It was quite interesting anyway. Uh, but I do collect those too. I think they're really cool. And I got a hat. Uh, I do have a jacket for it, but unfortunately, when it says 2X on Amazon.com, it's not 2X, okay? It's, it's a little smaller, a little tight in the shoulders. So I might have to get one actually custom made because I want one that's, you know... Not your standard uh, robe type uh, Plague Doctor mask. I don't want another, I'm not, I'm the Plague Doctor outfit. I want an actual jacket so it looks really cool. Almost steampunk style. And I do have a couple of those as well. But anyway, uh, these are my vacuum form masks. Okay. I collected those at uh, Spirit of Halloween just two days ago. And that's pretty much in a nutshell. If you guys want to collect these... Um, uh, Vacuum form masks, they are very cool and they're very durable, like I said. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, I've been collecting them. I got a whole wall full. I got some retro go goes. I got a few Frankensteins. I got one from Spirit Halloween, which is based off of the Boris Karloff version of Frankenstein. I do have that mask as well from Trick or Treat Studios. But I do collect these vacuum form masks. I think they're really cool. Anyway, I'm going to end this here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. As I will be pushing out some more videos, I do have the Ultimate Chucky coming in from NECA. Uh, that should be coming here probably within the week, and then we'll do a video on that. That one's got very cool looking facial features. It's a newer version. I think it's based off of the TV uh, show, so we're going to see what it is. Uh, I'll look at it, and we'll do some research on it. Uh, but that one will definitely be up next. But in the meantime, you guys have yourselves a good day.